Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Scavenger. Welcome to the video today. We're going to try out a new game here. Um, just trying it out. Just want to see how it fits. And uh, I've been asked by a few of you to play this game. So we are going to check out Eternum today. I haven't played it. I don't know a whole lot about it. I read the plot. Sounds pretty cool. Sounds pretty cool, but we're going to try it out. Just this once. Like I said, see how it fits. See if I want to play more of it. See if you guys want to watch more of it. And the only way for me to know if you guys want more of this is for you guys to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. All right, so let's go ahead and try it out. Uh, we are in complete darkness. I don't know if the game is going to start. Or if, maybe this is a game, this darkness. I'm gonna click once. Oh, hey. Okay, hi. Hello. There we go. It's Annie. How you doing, Annie? How you doing? Um, and oh, oh. She. I'm. I'm gonna assume that Annie's gonna introduce us to the game. So I'm really not gonna take this part too seriously, other than just reading it myself and everything. Um. So uh, let me do. Let me do my part. I'll be back. Okay. So I can pick a name or my default name is Orion. Uh, that's kind of, I don't know, that's kind of a weird name. Um, we'll just, how about just Ryan? How about just Ryan? <laughs> I'm real original here. Do you want pregnancy content? I mean, if, if that's the way the game is meant to be played, let's do it. I don't plan on getting nobody pregnant though. <sighs> I don't even know where to start. My name is Ryan. I was born in the city of Creighton a relatively small town on the west coast of the United States. I lived here until I was eight years old. Looking back at my childhood, I'd like to think that I was a pretty happy kid, despite a few curveballs being thrown my way. My mother left shortly after I was born, and my dad was never around much because he was always so focused on his job. That's actually why we ended up moving to Europe. Dad needed to relocate there to, to keep his position. I know, I know. This all sounds pretty gloomy, but don't worry. This is not about to be one of those sob stories. Man, the big city. To be honest, adapting to new places was never difficult for me. I was always able to quickly make new friends. Even after moving, my father continued to work all day. I could never really blame him though. He had to work to support us both. Heaven knows where I'd be without him. So Europe is where I grew up and continued my studies. I don't consider myself to be a genius, but the truth is that I've always gotten good grades. In my spare time, I enjoy going to the gym and playing all types of sports. However, ever since I was young, I've always been addicted to all things technology, electronics, computers, video games, gadgets, you name it. I'm especially passionate about making computer graphics too. Thanks to that passion and my good grades, I was just recently offered the opportunity of a lifetime to join a student exchange program and finish my last year of high school in Creighton, my hometown. Creighton has always been famous for its high school. All the students who graduate there ended up, end up getting accepted to the best universities in the country. Many famous and influential people studied in Creighton. Elon Musk, Warren Buffett, former President Stab... Stab? 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 Who, who knows? Obviously, as soon as I got the offer, I didn't have to think twice about it. I was thrilled at the opportunity. I packed my suitcase, said goodbye to my father and friends, and left as soon as I could. Back to my roots. As for my personal life, <laughs> let's just say I can't complain. I don't know why, but I've always had a way with the ladies. I've slept with hundreds of women, okay? I think he's probably exaggerating a little bit here. They all end up falling in love with me, as if by magic. To be honest, it actually gets kind of tiring. What's my secret? Well, normally a magician never tells, but I guess I'll fill you in. I, myself, believe the key to flirting is... <laughs> oh, who's Chang? Self-confidence and... Who is Chang? Why is Chang laughing at me? Oh, oh, here we go. The truth is about to come out. Oh shit, I can't breathe. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. You can continue. <laughs> go, go ahead. Um, yeah, as I was saying, the key to flirting is... <laughs> okay. 
Sorry, buddy. It's just that the closest thing he's been to getting laid was last year when the school's lunch lady slipped and fell on him. And now this motherfucker is here proudly proclaiming that he slept with hundreds of women. Hey, it was you who told me those things, remember? Bro, if you believe you're a player, you'll become a player. No one knows us in this town. This is our chance to start fresh. We can be cool now. We can be whoever we want to be. <laughs> Did I say that? Well, scratch that then. It's not going to work. You should stick to the nice guy attitude. Look at me. You didn't get any girls last year either. You spent two months composing a song to ask Cindy out, and when you finally did, she just laughed at you. And once she was finally able to catch her breath, Jeremy broke your guitar. Exactly. Did that stop me? Did that take away my smile? You were crying for two weeks every time. What I'm trying to say is that no matter what happens, you should never lower your head. Life is wonderful, Ryan. Yeah, well, if you say so. And if all else fails, I'll always be someone you can depend on, my friend. <laughs> I know, buddy. Ah, <sighs> Chang. I met him over ten years ago when I started school in Europe. He can be a bit weird at times, and that usually scares people. However, I would trust him with my life. I know he'd do anything to help me if necessary. Upon getting accepted to the student exchange program, I was allowed to extend the invitation to some others as well. In total, there are three slots available, one for me and two for whoever I asked to join. Chang was one of them. And the other... I'm back! Well, hello, Annie. How are you? Was Annie. Hey, were you able to make the call? And yes, mission accomplished. There was a signal in the first car. Nice. Annie's a close friend from my childhood. When I moved from Creighton, she was my next door neighbor and the first person I met. We quickly bonded after discovering we both had something in common, the absence of our parents. Her father was a traveling salesman and her mother was a flight attendant, so she almost never got to see the two of them. We were both lost and lonely. After finding a companion within each other, we've been inseparable ever since. Annie is very polite, kind, and amiable. She's a bit younger than me, but that's never made a difference to us. Because of how close we were, people always believed we were dating. But the truth is, we're just friends. I mean, she's cute, and we love spending time with each other. But I've never tried to make a move on her. I can never do it. She'd probably freak out if I did. And I'm not interested at all either. I mean, um, it wouldn't work. It would be weird for us. Yeah, yeah, that's a word. Weird. It's just not the kind of relationship we have. Stop doing that. What? You know what. You always do that. First you're talking to someone, then your wandering thoughts take a hold of you, and you stop listening. Me? That's not true. What was I talking about? When? Now, before I brought you back into the real world. Um, something about video games? I knew you weren't listening to me. Um, okay, sorry. No more won't happen again. Better not. I was saying that I spoke with Nancy. She said that she's already there. She'll be waiting for us outside Creighton Station. Oh, that's great. I can't wait to see her. Uh, I hope she recognizes me. <laughs> I'm sure she will. I'm actually kind of nervous. Nancy used to be my babysitter in Creighton. Since my father was always working, I can recall more memories with her than with my dad. I used to spend the entire afternoon playing with Nancy and her daughter, Dahlia. But then we had to move and ended up losing touch. It was a nice surprise to discover that she was one of the host families working with the student exchange program. Living with them will be much cheaper than renting a student residence. And it'll surely be nice to see Nancy and Dahlia again. Come to find out, she actually had two rooms available, so Annie will have a place to stay as well. She's actually been the one who's been coordinating with Nancy over the phone, even though they didn't know each other beforehand. I've always hated talking on the phone. I prefer chatting online or, or talking in person. Do you think she'll like me? Nancy? Of course. Don't worry about it, Annie. I haven't seen her in over 10 years, so it'll probably feel like I'm meeting her for the first time, too. I know, but I can't help feeling a bit nervous. What about you, Chang? Do you know anything about your host family? Not much. I know their names are Lucinda and Mark, and, and they have a daughter named... 
I don't even know that name. Michaela? Is Mika I got well, I think it's Michaela. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway. They said their house isn't very far away from the school. Michaela is supposed to be the same age as Ryan to me, so that's cool. Oh, sounds good. Alright. Public address system. Next stop, Dalek. Oh, oh, we're almost there. That's the second to the last stop. What's the first thing you're going to do when you get to our new home? Well, say hello to everyone, I guess. <laughs> I mean, after that airhead. To tell you the truth, I'm pretty tired. I think I'll just go to sleep. Tomorrow's our first day of school, so I'd like to start off on the right foot. I would hate for everyone's first impression to be from the sleepy and cranky ride. <laughs> Fair enough. What about you? What will you do? Me? Logging into a tournament and playing for a while, of course. Oh, I should have known. I don't even know why I asked. Hmm? What the, what the hell's going on here? A tournament. Over the past year, every single conversation I've had seems to be about it. A few years ago, a newly created company called Ulysses announced their first game. A virtual hyper-reality MMO RPG that promised to revolutionize the world of technology. With the game's neural implant that recreates the five senses, they said it had become impossible to distinguish between the game and the real world. Eternum. More real than real life. They promised thousands of servers, absolute freedom, and things never before seen in history. A big claim for sure. But after they released the first version of the game and players got to see things for themselves, everything they promised turned out to be an understatement. It was better than anyone could have imagined. People became addicted to a turnum, to say the least. The neural implant required to play cost $2,500 and could only be used by a single person. They started to call it the drug of the rich. Shortly after the first release, a turnum added its own in-game currency and then Ulysses quickly became the biggest company in the world. Today, Ulysses' market capitalization is worth 31 trillion US dollars, more than 10 times that of Microsoft or Amazon. They say the owner of the company could buy out entire countries if he wanted. Not much is known about him, only that he created the entire game by himself and is referred to as the founder. There's some weird shit going on with that game. Yeah, you can't die from a turnum, but you can still feel pain. And there's a dark side of the game too. Black markets, torture, the R word. Ch okay, we're not even going to talk about that. Data theft. Everyone knows about it, but world governments turn a blind eye to it. Eternum abides by its own law, its own rules, its own police. And people don't care. They can fulfill all of their fantasies there. And that seems to be all that matters. <laughs> you should go to sleep too, Annie. We have to wake up early tomorrow. Yes, yes, I will. I'll just complete a couple of dungeons and pay a quick visit to the market. I don't even know how the hell you managed to get enough money to buy yourself a neural implant. Well, it's because as soon as the game was announced, I worked every single gig I could to save up each penny I earned. And it was so worth it. <laughs> you play too much. No, that's not true. Uh, yeah, it is. How many hours a day do you play? Eight? Ten? You're addicted. Oh, hey, well, you're just saying all this because you're jealous that you can't play a turnum. What? Nah. Yes, it's true. No. Nah. Yes, it is. No. Nope. Yes. Nope. Yes, admit it already. You're nothing but a big ball of envy because your best friend can play a tournament and you can't since you haven't saved any money. What? <laughs> Hold on, what? B -b best friend? Oh, oh no, Chang's a little... Chang's a little jealous. Oh, uh, I thought I was your best friend, right? What? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, of course you are, buddy. What? what? <laughs> I like the dramatic music. What? <laughs> I'm not your best friend. Well, <laughs> okay, hold on. How, how are we going to get out of this situation? Um, well, yeah, of course you're my best friend, Annie. What? Uh oh, what is it, Ryan? I need to know. You're both my best friends. No, that's not saying anything. You have to choose. Yeah, who's your best friend? Me or Chang? Okay, they're different types of friendship, okay? 
But who means more to you? Who's the, the one tr <laughs> All right, all right, come on. Who's the one true best friend? Oh, come on, guys, don't make me do this. I'm gonna be honest right now, okay? Because it's kind of it's kind of distracting me a little bit. Ryan's haircut is trash. Okay, I just want to get that out of the way. It's trash. Now let's let's continue. <sighs> I, I mean, um, well, thinking about it objectively, I guess. Oh, do I really? Oh. Ooh. All right. All right. Just started a game. I have to make my first big life choice. I trust Chang with my life, but Annie I've known longer. Mm. I don't know much about her. Uh, there's probably more of a connection with Annie. Mm. If I'm being honest, just based on what I own, the, the, the limited information I know, I think if I was going to put my faith and trust into someone, it'd probably be Annie over Chang, I think. And if I was gonna make a decision based on that, I'd go Andy. You guys can let me know if I'm an idiot for choosing this, but I'm choosing Andy. I guess it would be you, Andy. Oh, thank God. You scared me for a moment. You scared me there for a moment. Well, we've been through much together, Andy. You know, I wouldn't have accepted the invitation to come here if you hadn't come with me. Thank you. But that doesn't mean you're not also my best friend, Chang. <laughs> He's gone. Oh my god, get out of here. Fuck you, Chang. <laughs> get out of here, you crybaby. Um, buddy? Come on, Chang. You know I love you. You're my best male friend. Nothing can cure the soul but the senses. Just as nothing can cure the senses. But the soul. Um, I'll make it up to you. I promise. I promise that I'll get you a beer after school tomorrow. But turn that music off. <laughs> oh, okay. Was he playing that sad music? That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, it's a duel, friend. <laughs> Nothing like an ice cold, bubbly brewski to numb the pain. Agreed. Oh, the sun shines again. Well, uh, we should be there any moment now. Tell me, where are you supposed to meet your new family? Mine said they'd pick me up at the station, too. The mom and the daughter. Apparently, the dad is on a business trip. You know what that means. Now, uh, you're going to get slapped for making unwanted advances? Not this time, buddy. I'm the new Chang. Chang the cool. Chang the ladies' man. <laughs> are you really going to try to hit on your hostess? Not only them, Olive Craden is going to become my hunting ground. Nobody will be safe from Chang the Casanova. <laughs> really? That doesn't sound like you. You've always called yourself a hopeless romantic. That was the old Chang, not Chang the womanizer. Chang the charming cannot be pinned down with monogamy. <laughs> How many nicknames do you have? Chang the modern Romeo has many names. More options for women to scream in bed. <laughs> okay you know all kidding aside I feel the same way this place is going to be a good opportunity to meet some ladies not with that haircut dude not with that haircut between you and me people in our old city thought Annie was my girlfriend that didn't help we can make a name for ourselves in Creighton and I don't know I got a feeling my luck's going to change I'm sure there will be lots of hot girls in- <laughs> What are you muttering? Nothing. <laughs> Were you talking about girls? No. It's okay, you can tell me. I want to be a part of the conversation. I want to know how men think. Well, we were talking about... Basketball. Who's playing? Um... Golden State. Against whom? The, uh, 49ers. <laughs> okay did, did, did that fly I guess if uh, I guess it's cool next stop Crane oh thank goodness 
Oh, that's our stop. Come on, boys. We're finally here. Get your bags. All right, let's go. Crayton, here we come. And here we are. Here we are in Creighton. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up there. We had a nice train ride. We got to know a couple of the main characters. And we know a little bit about Eternum. The next step is just getting into the meat and potatoes of the game. But, uh, you know, like I said, if you guys want to see more of this, if you guys want to see more Eternum gameplay, you guys are going to have to smash that like button. And as always, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That's all. That's all I got for you. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.